वेलकम अगेन टुडे उल डिसकस बोरेन रिडक्शन देन डाइमाइड रिडक्शन एंड सिलेन रिडक्शन सो फार्ष्ट उल डिसकस बोरेन द स्ट्राक्चर अफ बोरेन इज बी एच थ्री एंड बोरेन जेनारलि प्रेफार्स टू फर्म द डाइमार डाइबोरिन हुईच अलाउज द बोरन एटम्स टू हेव ए कमप्लीट अक्टेट अफ भैलेंस सेल इलेक्ट्रन्स so this is the divalent structure and if you see this bond this is actually two electron three centered bonds this hydrogen is attached to two boron so each boron gets now total eight electrons and completes this octet boron ex only exists as a monomer at high temperature or when it forms a one is to one adduct with lewis basic solvents ligands such as tetrahydrofuran amines and dimethyl sulfide in that case bs3 makes adduct with lewis base because bs3 is a lewis acid structure of some boron hydrides this is pinacol boron this is catechol boron because this motif is catechol and then boron atom is attached to the two oxygen this is hexyl boron and this is alpine boron this is chiral we will discuss in detail also this boron and this is amyl boron this is also important boron this is sterically with two iso this amyl group is there and nine bbn this is also sterically hindered boron and isopeno camphenyl boron this is also chiral we we'll discuss this is di isopeno camphenyl boron this is chiral we will discuss in detail and this is also we'll discuss ipc to bcl there is no one hydrogen is replaced by chlorine and we will discuss this advantage also some cases this chlorine and that is the ipc to bcl is an effective reducing reagent Defined hydroboreting reagents with defined reactivities. So, diboren when mixed with tetrahydrofuran, then this BH3 THF complex is formed. So, and now BH3 carries a negative charge here. And oxygen has a plus charge. So, one lone pair is donating to the boron. Also. diboren when reacting with dimethyl sulfide it forms this bh3 dms this is very useful and it's called bms so bh3 dms we'll discuss shortly the advantages of this and diboren triethylamine even diethylamine also different amine can react to diboren and the complexes are form here also boron carries a negative charge and this nitrogen of the amine carries a positive charge the advantages of boron in dimethyl sulfide bms over other boron reagents such as boron tetrahydrofuran are it has increased stability and higher solubility so this is very useful because it has increased stability and higher solubility it is commercially available at much higher concentration than its tetrahydrofuran counterpart and you can get up to 10 molar neat this reagent bh3 dms it does not require sodium borohydride as a stabilizer which could result in undesired side reactions in contrast boron thf requires sodium borohydride to inhibit reduction of thf to tributyl borate so here nabh4 is required otherwise the thf ring also can be reduced so sodium borohydride is used as an as a stabilizer and in this case dms case it is not required BMS is soluble in most apoptotic solvents so this is very useful it is solubility stability and uh, you don't require sodium borohydride so that makes the BMS very popular reagent reduction reaction with diboren aldehyde can be reduced to the alcohol nitrile say a benzonitrile is converted to benzylamine and here benzoic acid is converted to benzyl alcohol
reduction of carboxylic acid and amide. So, this is very specific that we will see now that the borane is selective for the carboxylic acid. And if you see this molecule here carboxylic acid motive is there, nitro group is there and a lactone motive is there. And selectively only the carboxylic acid group is reduced to the primary alcohol which BH3 DMS reagent at room temperature. So, this becomes primary alcohol and the other lactone and nitro groups are untouched. Also, this is an imide here and the cyclic imide and nitro group is present with BH3 THF reflux, you get 90 percent yield of this product. So, this is a amine product you get both this carbonyl groups amide carbonyl groups getting reduced and nitro group is untouched. So, selective reduction. So, we can tell this selective reduction. Selective reduction of carboxylic and amide is possible in presence of other functional groups. Now, we will discuss chiral borane. So, this is the first uh, chiral borane that we will discuss. This is alpine borane. Alpine borane can stereoselectively reduce ketone aldehydes, even deuterium aldehydes, known as midland alpine borane reduction or midland reduction. Its molecular formula is C18 H131B. So, 18 carbon atoms are present. And this can be prepared by treating 9 BBN with alpha pinene. Alpha pinene, this is naturally available. And this alpha pinene, if you react with 9 BBN with THF reflux, and you get this double bond in the double addition of this borane to the double bond, and this is called syn addition because boron and hydrogen, boron and hydrogen adds from the same phase. And now this is a chiral borane reagent. So, this is alpine borane. Our alpine borane is effective at reducing acetylene ketones to secondary alcohols. The enanso selection arises through the selective placement of the sterically undemanding alkyne close to the methyl substituent. So, there is a methyl here in the both transition state for the reduction. And this is the R alpine borane, we can write like this and methyl here if we give the rotation then methyl comes down here and uh, from the down side. And now, this is uh, uh, the top side and if you draw the ketone like this uh, with this in the left side. Now, this transition state is like this. So, uh, this is sterically undemanding and this methyl group. So, they can stay close because uh, alkyne is sterically undemanding. So, this is very small, the steric effect is very small for a triple bond. And now, this boat conformation, so this is boat conformation you get here. And after that, the dehydroboration happens. So, this um, hydride delivers to the carbonyl and now this carbon boron bond cleaves and to get a double bond. So, this is the alpha pinene alpha pinene is generated and this complex after the H2O2 you can get the alcohol H2O2 NOH get alcohol. Also this alpha pinene which is generated in the reaction this can be recycled to make R alpine borane. Examples of reduction of alpine borane here this 2 methyl cyclohexanone. When reduced with uh, alpine borane, you get both diastomer. This is trans 
and this is cis. So, trans you get 68 percent E and cis you get 63 percent E and you get 1 is to 1 mixture of diastomers. Also, D carbon when treated with alpine borane, this is a diastroselective reduction. selective reduction because you see already a chiral center is there and now you get this major diastomer in 4.6 ratio and minor one is 1. So, this is the minor this is the major. So, this is major. Interestingly when L carbon is used then with alpine bore no reaction. So, what does it mean that means this is the match case that you get at least product match case and this is mismatch case. So, that means, you can do a kinetic resolution also when you mix D carbon and L carbon. So, kinetic resolution is possible, kinetic resolution is possible from a mixture of D and L carbon because only D will react with alpine boron and L will not react. Many examples of the midland reduction require a low steric group such as an alkyne or a nitrile so as to increase selectivity. Like this here the alkyne we have drawn the right side. So, alcohol is like this and this is the alpine boron and followed by quenching with H2O2 NOH water you get this alcohol. And this is the alkyne group TMS alkyne group is present here. The stereochemical control comes from coordination of the bulky borane to the carbonyl followed by hydride transfer opposite to the largest group. So, here again the transition state we have drawn this is the alkyne and this is R 2 group here. So, alkyne and methyl they are parallel and close to each other this is the transition state and this is the boat conformation. And now, the hydride will deliver from the top side, top face. So, you get the down alcohol here, top side, and you get this alkoxy boronate and alpha pinein. After that, H2O2 NOH treatment, you get the alcohol. So, if you write alkyne, alkyne in left side, then hydride delivery. from top face. So, in this case we have drawn right side that is why the alcohol is opposite stereochemistry here, but if you draw like alkyne left side then you get the hydride delivery from the top side. Vinyl acetylene ketone was reduced to alcohol with 98 percent E. This ketone is extremely sensitive to acid or base catalyzed isomerization of the cis double bond. So, you can see there is a cis double bond no isomerization was observed during this reduction. So, here you can see the defined carbonyl groups are there, two carbonyl groups are there. So, this is regio and stereoselective. Because you have two carbonyl groups selectively only this uh, carbonyl group is reduced to the alcohol and the double bond is cis. So, there also cis. So, no isomerization observed. So, that means this is a very mild condition. Only this ketone failed to undergo reduction containing a tart butyl group adjacent to the carbonyl group. Reduction presumably occurs by dehydroboration reduction pathway we already discussed and the use of high pressure like 6000 atmospheric evades this problem. So, if a tertiary butyl group is present in the ketone then this is sterically hindered, sterically hindered ketone. A tertiary butyl group is attached to the carbonyl group and now if you do not use the high pressure then you do not get the product. Alternatively, if you use high pressure then you can get the product and high E is observed also. More examples the re rate of reduction of ketones with alphine boron increases with electron withdrawing groups like this one pyruvate system. So, if you methyl 
79 percent E, tarsal butyl is 86 percent E. So, if you increase the steric group, then the E with increase in size of R, E increases. And this is the pyruvate, pyruvates, methyl pyruvate, tartbutyl pyruvate. And with alpine borane, you get these products alpha hydroxy esters. Alpha keto esters are generally good substrates for reduction, efficiency is increased by the use of tartbutyl pyruvate. So, if you use this phenyl group here, then also you get the E. So, earlier it had methyl group that is the pyruvate. Now, if you put phenyl group here and tertiary butyl ester, then you get earlier it was 86, so 92 percent E. So, best efficiency increased by the use of tertiary butyl group. So, if tertiary butyl group is there, then you get the high enanso selectivity. Now, we will discuss another borane, this is also chiral. This name is metanyl 9 BBN, it is just less sterically congested reducing agent. Metanyl 9 BBN is able to accommodate ketones with bulky aryl groups than alpine borane. So, this is important, it can accommodate bulky, bulky groups, aryl groups also. Metanyl 9 BBN undergoes dehydroboration about twice as fast as alpine borane. So, this is also important, the reactivity is high. And this is prepared by treating 9 BBN with beta pinene. So, this is the earlier we have seen the alpha pinene. So, this is beta pinene. In the beta pinene, the double bond in exocyclic position. And with 9 BBN, then this addition happens because this is a terminal olefin and the boron adds to the uh, terminal hydride to the in internal carbon center and you get this metanyl borane. Also this uh, addition happens because this is the top face is blocked by this group and so the addition is taken from, from the downside. For for dimethyl 1 octane 3 on which is useful intermediate in postacalin synthesis give the R product in 88 percent E. So, here you can see this is a quaternary center. And with the tarsal butyl group, we have seen that the reduction does not happen with alpine borane without pressure. When 6000 atmospheric pressure is applied, then only you get the product. But here, no need of high pressure. So, this is very important with mid time borane, you do not need high pressure and you get this 88 percent E of this product. With alpine borane, reduction of 2 to dimethyl 4931. So, this is the substrate 2 to dimethyl 4931 requires high pressure, whereas with methyl borane, it gets reduced with atmospheric pressure to the R alcohol. So, here we have alkyne, we have done the right side. So, you get this alcohol in 86 percent E. And you see, this is the tarsal butyl group. So, this is sterically demanding. So, that means sterically depending ketones can be reduced with methyl borane. Also, if you have a trimethyl silyl group in the triple bond, then also the product is formed without affecting this group and you get this alcohol in high E. Now, we will discuss diisopinocamphenyl borane. Diisopinyl camphenyl borane also is useful for asymmetric synthesis. It was reported in 1961 by Joffel and Brown, physical properties, it is quite sensitive to water and air. So, that you have to be careful. Diisopinocamphenyl borane is monomeric in contrast to diborane and many of its less bulky analog. So, this is monomeric, this is very important. And its structural formula is C20H35B. 
Diisopinocamphenyl borane commonly prepared in high enantiomeric purity and good yield by hydroboration of excess alpha binding with borane dimethyl sulfide complex in THA by 0 degree centigrade or room temperature. So, alpha binding you need excess because stoichiometry tells that you need two equivalent of this pinene motive. So, two equivalent of alpha binding reacts with BH3, SB2, BMS in THF 0 degree centigrade room temperature you get this borane in 98 to 99 percent E. Examples reduction of alpha keto acids like this alpha keto acids RPH R is equal to N propyl. So, aromatic aliphatic both and when it reduction happens this complex formation. So, 5 membered cyclic intermediate. This 5 membered cyclic intermediate forms and out of 2 alpha pinein motive 1 alpha pinein eliminates and then this 5 membered ring is formed and after oxidation you get this alpha keto carboxylic acid. So, alpha keto acids and when R is equal to pH you get 95 percent E, R is equal to N propyl you get 77 percent E. So, aromatic system is better, aromatic system better for E. Reduction of beta keto acid, so this is we have seen alpha keto acids, beta keto now one carbon is more and here also the reaction they have studied with R is equal to pH and phenyl and methyl and both cases the reaction happens and unlike earlier case 5 membered here 6 membered, 6 membered cyclic intermediate is formed. You see the reduction already happened and one molecule of alpha binding is eliminated also hydrogen is eliminated because this H this is quite acidic. So, this is acidic and one hydrogen from this borane. So, ultimately H2 is eliminated and this 6 membered cyclic intermediate is formed and after oxidation you get this beta hydroxy carboxylic acids. And when R is equal to pH you get 92 percent E, R is equal to methyl 92 percent E. So, here both aromatic and aliphatic provide high E. So, this is important with beta keto acids both aliphatic and aryl groups gives high E. Now, we will discuss one more carbon enhance that is the alpha keto acids and they have studied with R is equal to pH, methyl, ethyl both aromatic aliphatic and here also with this diisopinocamphenyline borane THF 0 degree centigrade you get the reduction and here also they did not show the intermediate, but you get the high E R is equal to pH 94 percent E R is equal to methyl 98 percent E R is equal to ethyl. 95 percent E. So, here also both aromatic and aliphatic systems give high E. So, this is very important gamma keto acids here both aliphatic and aromatic gives high E. And after trifluoroacetic acid treatment, so this is TFA you get the cyclization happens. So, under acidic condition you get water elimination and you get butyrolactone and the enhancer's electricity is preserved. So, here R is equal to pH 94, 94, here methyl 98, 98 and R is equal to ethyl which is called hexanolide you get 95 percent E. So, enhancer's electricity is preserved. Reduction of delta keto acids, when a delta keto acid was subjected to reduction with isopinocamphenyl borane 
evolution of one molar equivalent of hydrogen was observed with the concurrent formation of the diisopinic amphiline borinate indicated by the 11 boron NMR spectrum. However, unlike in the case of alpha beta gamma keto acid, no intramolecular reduction was observed in the gamma keto acid. Meeting the THF solution to reflux made no difference. Thus, the intermolecular asymmetric reduction is limited to alpha, beta and gamma keto acids. So, this is the delta keto acid and when treated with this isopinocamphenyl borane THF zeroidic centigrade only the acid group is reacting with elimination of hydrogen to get this camphenyl borinate. Also, in reflux, there is no reduction happens. Now, we will discuss the hydrogen is replaced with chlorine that is called beta chlorodiisopinocamphenyl borane. So, B means borone. B chlorodiisopinocamphenyl borane IPC to BCL is very effective for the intermolecular asymmetric reduction of various ketones. As for example, alkyl ketones, alpha hindered ketones, parfluoroalkyl ketones. The chloride is reported to be the more stable than the trialkyl boranes. Molecular formula C20H34 BCL and diisopinocamphenyl borane is produced by treating diisopinocamphenyl borane with hydrogen chloride. It can be made from alpha pinene. So, this is the diisopinyl campanyl chloroborane is prepared from diisopinyl campanyl borane with hydrogen chloride. Also, alpha pinene can be used directly for the synthesis of this diisopinyl campanyl chloride. So, here alpha pinene two equivalent unit with one equivalent BH to Cl that Cl comes to here or you can treat BH3 SCME to THF to generate and this isopc to borane and then you treat with HCl you get the chloride. So, this uh, parent diisopinocamphenide borane is very poor reagent for intermolecular asymmetric reduction. If you consider this ketone uh, like acetophenone when x is equal to chlorine that is the DIP chloride and x is equal to hydrogen that is the isopinocamphenyl borate. So, you can see the difference in selectivity here with this one you get 98 percent E. On the other hand with isopinocamphenyl borate you get only 9 percent E. Not only ketones, keto esters can also be reduced with this. So, earlier we have seen the keto acid. So, this is good for keto esters alpha keto esters like ethyl, methyl, ethyl esters and here phenyl group is there THM minus 78 degree centigrade, you get this alpha hydroxy esters. R is equal to methyl you get 92 percent E, R is equal to ethyl you get 89 percent E. On the other hand, if the phenyl is replaced with a methyl group, then the stereoselectivity getting changed. This is the opposite stereochemistry. Earlier it was R and now it is S, and also the enantio selectivity also get reduced. So, aliphatic keto ester provides less E. This is also earlier we have seen this alpha keto acids also this observation we have seen. Now, beta keto esters what happens when this beta keto esters was treated with IPC to BCL, then you get this enolate is formed and the 6 membered 6 member type intermediate is formed and you can see this ketone is becoming the enolate here actually. So, enolate is formed and this 11 boron it shows 13 ppm value this is selective for this and now this ketone is going to enolate that is why there is no reduction. Now, reduction of 
gamma keto esters. So, what happens with gamma keto esters and their skin both R is equal to pH and methyl with this ethyl group. Now, with this reagent THA minus 25 degree centigrade 12 are starting. So, here reaction work. So, here no reaction with beta keto esters and with gamma keto ester the product is formed when R is equal to phenyl you get 75 percent yield 99 percent E greater than R is equal to methyl 27 percent E and after typhloroacetic acid get treatment you get this butyrolactone derivatives R is equal to pH 99 percent E and R is equal to methyl this is 27 percent E. So, E is conserved. However, the aromatic system works nicely, aromatic system gives high E, aliphatic system gives poor E. So, only 27 percent E is observed when R is equal to methyl. Some more reactions like reduction of delta keto esters. So, when delta keto esters like this is treated with IPCBCL under the same condition THA minus 25 degree centigrade 12 hours, here also the reaction occurs and you get the product in 98 percent E in 77 percent yield. And this product when treated with typhloroacetic acid, you get this 6 member lactone. Prozac is a type of antidepressant called a selective serotonin repuke inhibitor used for treating depression, bulimia, obsessive compulsive disorder, panic disorder and dysphoric disorder. So, this was prepared, but by this reaction. So, with dipcl you can reduce this ketone. So, this is the aromatic ketone, this is called 3 chloro, 3 chloro 1 phenyl. Propanone. So, if you treat this 3 chloro 1 phenyl propanone with diisophenyl chloro camphenyl borane, then you get this product, alcohol product, which can be converted to Prozac, which is an useful anti, it has many activities. Now, we will discuss oxazaboroidin, this is called CBS catalyst, also Kore, Boxy, Shibata, the first letters have been taken. Is an asymmetric catalyst derived from proline. So, this is you can see this structure, uh, this is CH2OH, which can be derived from the uh, COH carboxylic acid after treating with Gignard. And now you have to uh, react with the borane. So, to get this oxajaborolidin. So, this is oxajaborolidin. The catalyst also developed by Itsuno and Amias J. Kore, which is generated by heating R to diphenyl hydroxymethyl pyrrolidine along with trimethyl boroxine or methyl boronic acid. So, here methyl group is required. The enhanced selective reduction of ketones using borane and a chiral oxazaborolidine. As a catalyst, CBS catalyst is known as Kore Boxy Shibata reduction, that is CBS reduction. It is also known as Kore Itsuno reduction. And molecular formula is C18H20BNO. The CBS catalyst can be prepared from diphenyl polynol. So, this is diphenyl polynol. Diphenyl polynol. This is diphenyl polynol with this methyl boronic acid and then toluene reflux. This oxazaborolidin is formed. So, with oxazaborolidin, so this is not a, because there is no hydride, so this is not a hydride source, it is, it is a catalyst. So, oxazaborolidin is not a hydride, so it is a catalyst. So, you need an hydride source for the reduction. CBS reduction of ketones here, this is the catalyst, maybe 10 to 20 mole percent you need. And now, BH3 THF, this is the hydride source. And acetophenone is converted to this alcohol R, alcohol 
in 96.5 percent E. So, this is very important we have seen with IPC to BCL also this reduction is possible and tertiary butyl group. So, this is statically demanding tertiary butyl group can also be present and you can get 97.3 percent E of this alcohol. So, this is very important aliphatic ketones also give high E and this is tetralone with this catalyst and this is the hydride source BH3 THF THF solvent you get this alkone in 86 percent E. What is the mechanism for this catalytic reduction of ketones? So, first this catalyst is reacting with borane because this you can see this is the Lewis basic site. So, this is Lewis acid. So, that is why this complex is formed nitrogen reacts with the borane and now this carbonyl this is also Lewis base and this is Lewis acid center. So, this coordination happens you can see oxygen boron and this hydride delivery will take place from this borane which is attached to this because this is more reactive more reactive than BH 3 itself or BH 3 THF. So, this only the borane which is bound to the catalyst only reacts. So, this is very important otherwise the E is not possible and now the hydride delivery will take place from the top phase hydride delivery from the top phase and you get the down alcohol also this large group will be this side because otherwise there will be steric interaction. So, this will be sterically less demanding that is the small and uh, this will be large. So, you have to draw a ketone like this and then the hydride delivery will take place from the top phase. So, you get this down OH group and after that this can be converted to this after the catalyst liberates you get this complex and after HCl methanol you get the alcohol here actually you get this catalyst back. Alternatively one more molecule of BH 3 reacts with this complex and then this borane hydrogen borane this hydride bridge is formed which converted to this active catalyst and this product intermediate is formed here the borone alkoxy boron and now HCl methanol will give this alcohol. Examples, so RL and RS this you have to draw properly to give if you draw left side then you get the hydrate delivery from the top side. So, you get a down alcohol and defined ketones like aryl aliphatic. So, here the acetophenone with BME4 and BDA this is the BH3 ET 2 NH diethylamine. So, this is called B D E A diethylamine that is the hydride source and with methyl catalyst you get 99 percent E. Also when a phosphonate group is there 91 percent with B N B uh, they are, that is the N butyl group here instead of methyl and C B is cyclohexyl. So, with cyclohexyl boron you get this e product in 91 percent E. Also chloro group can be tolerated you get 98 percent E with BDA as a hydride source and this is the temperature. Also three methyl groups can be incorporated and the E can be increased to 99.7 percent with BNU catalyst and cyclohexyl boron is the hydride source and minus 78 degree centigrade. Also defined electron withdrawing and electron rich x is equal to fluoro you get 97 percent x is equal to methoxy you get 99. So, E electronic effect is not observed in observed in E. So, this is very important. And here also bromo methoxy you get 96 97 percent E with BTHF that is the hydride source. 
Here x is equal to O M E dimethoxy compound also high E and one methoxy acetophenone also give very high E. This is the naphthyl system here x is equal to H you get 96, x is equal to methoxy you get 98 percent E. This is tetralone we have seen earlier. So, here the enhanced social activity is very high 99 percent E with B D A complex that is the hydride source and 5 membered benzene is here also you get 98 percent E and minus 20 degree centigrade B M S is the hydride source. Here 7 membered ring is there here also high E and minus 20 degree centigrade here this motive is heterocyclic motive is there. However, only the carbonyl group is reduced and 94 percent E. So, what we have observed the high to excellent E this is very important for CBS reduction high to excellent E for defined substituted ketones. Also cyclic ketones can also be reduced with oxygen borolate in catalyst like here 2 methyl cyclohexenone you get 93 percent E. So, this is the product the double bond is not reduced only the carbonyl group is getting reduced 93 percent E with cyclohexyl borane and minus 78 degree centigrade. Here this enone cyclic enone can be uh, the reduction product can be obtained in 92 percent E with borane n-butyl this is the n-butyl and BTHF the hydride source at 37 degree centigrade. This cyclopentenone can also be reduced with 93 percent E 10 degree temperature this is the bromo substituted 2 bromo cyclohexenone. Hexenone give 96 percent E. 2 bromo cyclopentenone can also be reduced in 90 percent E. Here the E little bit dropped with BME4 catalyst BTHF, boron THF hydride source. And when a exocyclic bond is there, that is why we have drawn like this. So, exocyclic bond is there that also giving the product in 96 percent E at minus 20 degree centigrade. So, both endocyclic and exocyclic alpha beta unsaturated enones give products. Now, will the acyclic alpha beta enones here the double bond is considered large to explain the stereochemistry and this group is RS. So, this ketone alpha beta unsaturated as this is the acyclic gives 97 percent E AR is equal to pH AR is equal to 4 methoxy you get 95 percent E and cyclohexyl borer minus 70 degree centigrade. This one M is equal to SIME 3 SNBU 3 case also the ketone is getting reduced. So, this ketone ester will be untouched and very high E is obtained. So, S n little bit less E. Also, if S n can be alpha position that case you get the enhanced E 94 percent under similar condition. S n here S n butyl then you get the 85 percent E with minus 30 degree centigrade cyclohexyl borane as a hydride source. And if you have a chiral, so this is chiral, chiral enone here is the chiral center, then you get a diastoselective reduction and 95 percent you get the product E at 23 degree temperature. And this you can see there is a lactone motive is there and this is the alpha beta unsaturated enone and only the carbonyl group will be reduced with the oxygen borelate in catalyst and depending on the R you get 92 to 97 percent E at minus 30 degree centigrade temperature. So, different uh, linear enones can be reduced with um, CBS catalyst. Also not only enones, enones can be also reduced alpha beta unsaturated enones like this, this considered uh, RS because this is the triple bond less sterically uh, demanding or sterically less demanding that is why it is RS and this group will be RL and when R is equal to N alkyl then 71 to 88 percent E R is equal to secondary alkyl you get 94 to 96 percent E. 
Also, if there is no substituent, also you get high E. In alkyl and cyclohexyl case, you get 98 percent E and minus 30 degree centigrade temperature. If silyl group is present, then this becomes RL. So, silyl group in alkyne makes sterically demanding. So, this is important. Then this become RL, so you get the opposite stereochemistry here, but the E is still very high 92 97 percent E. And here also this is the trimethyl silyl group is present, this also RL and with N alkyl or CH3 you get 92 1 to 97 percent E at minus 40 degree centigrade temperature. Now, we will discuss reduction with diimide. So, diimide converts unsaturated organic compounds to reduce alkane products in the process diimide is oxidized to dinitrogen. So, nitrogen is formed. First observed in 1905 during the reaction of glyceryl oleate which produced stearic uh, hydrazine for the reduction of carbon-carbon double bond that hydrazine can act as a reagent. The three potential structure for diimide are cis and trans diimide and 1,1 one, one diimide that is amino nitrine. This is cis diamide, this is trans and this is 1,1 one, one diamide. Trans diamide can be generated and trapped at low temperature by a gas phase electric discharge by in hydrogen and by the thermal decomposition of metal salts of para toluene sulfur in hydrogen. So, hydrogen to diamide can be prepared by electric discharge or the metal salt thermal decomposition. Diamide is stable at low temperature but undergoes disproportionation at high temperature to nitrogen and hydrogen. So, that means, this reaction should be done at low temperature, reaction should be at low temperature that we will see. So, the mechanism is cyclic transition state have been proposed, seen addition of hydrogen or deuterium across the double bond or triple bonds have been observed. This observation has led to the proposal that the mechanism involves concerted hydrogen transfer from cis diamide to the substrate. Diamide is typically generated either through the oxidation of hydrogen or the decarboxylation of potassium azodicarboxylate that we will see. Potassium azodicarboxylate can also generate the diamide. Formation of diamide is the rate limiting step. The order of reactivity of unsaturated substrates is alkynes, alines, then terminal alkenes and then substrate alkene. So, alkynes more reactive than alkenes and here we will see trans alkenes reacts more. So, trans then cis, trans alkenes are react more rapidly than cis alkenes. Diamide reduces symmetrical double bonds C double bond C, N double bond 1. O double bond O. However, unsymmetrical double bonds cannot be reduced. So, this is very important and this is the transition state the diamide makes a 6 membered cyclic transition state. And now, the hydride delivery will take place and you get the nitrogen here. So, this goes as a gas. So, reaction goes in the right side very efficiently. Diamide is most effective by reducing unpolarized carbon carbon double or triple bonds. Like here, this is unpolarized, and this is the potassium azodicarboxylate. We have shown earlier that this can generate uh, diamide in C2 after decarboxylation, and in acetic acid, CH2Cl, you get this, CH2Cl2, you get this product. Diamond can selectively reduce less substituted double bonds under some conditions. Like here, two double bonds are there. So, this is the terminal. And with so this hydrogen, hydrogen also, so N2H4 plus H2O2 oxidation in acid, you get the diamide. So, this is the in situ generation of diamide. And now the terminal bonds only getting reduced. So, this is regio selective. Here also you can see two bond, double bonds are here. This is internal, this is external means exocyclic and terminal. Here with this hydrogen 
copper H2O2 in situ formation of in situ NH NH formation and you get only this double bond is getting reduced, you get 87 percent yield. Allines are reduced to the more highly substituted alkene in the presence of diamide, the this diamide approaches the aline chromophore from the least hindered side of the least substituted double bond to produce ha the product having the cis geometry. So, this you can see this is the aline and now hydride delivery takes place from this. So, NH comes like this and from this side hydrogen air, so methyl and phenyl become cis. So, less hindered side and least substituted less uh, hindered side and least substituted double bond. So, this is the least substituted double bond of aline. So, this double bond is getting retained and you get the alkene in 28 percent. Also, with this aline similarly this double bond is getting retained and this only getting reduced this terminal and you get this <coughs> methyl group here with in situ generation of the diamide. Iodo alkynes represent an exception to the rule that alkenes cannot be obtained from alkynes. After diamide reduction of iodo alkynes, cis iodo alkenes may be isolated in good deal. So, alkynes generally not reduced, but if you have a iodo group is there, then you can get this, uh, this uh, azo dicarboxylate potassium which generates in situ the diamide with methanol solvent and acetic acid is the acid, you get this product in 81 percent yield. So, this is the cis product, yeah, these two groups are cis. Diamide has been generated catalytically through the oxidation of hydrogen by a flavin based organo catalyst. The system selectively reduces the terminal double bonds. Here you can see this is internal, this is terminal and this group only getting reduced and with this catalyst and then equivalent of hydrogen. So, catalyst regenerates the uh, hydrodiamide. So, that helps oxidation of hydrogen to the diamide and then the reduction happens. Now, we will discuss silane reduction. So, reduction of carbonyls and alkenes can be done with silane's hydride. Addition of transition metals such as zinc chloride or copper salt or to silane facilitates the reduction. Asymmetric reduction is possible with silane if chiral additive is used like acetophenone can be reduced to r phenyl ethanol in the presence of chiral ligand with good enhanced ena selectivity. So, this is the chiral ligand you can see there is a imine and pyridine motif is there and this is the chiral center with uh, this is the silane diphenyl silane with this ligand you get 84 percent E and 99 percent yield. Various benzaldehydes and ketamines can be hydrosilylated efficiently with pH Me to SiH employing BC6 A5 whole 3 as a catalyst. So, this is Lewis acid strong Lewis acid because now this fluorine group is there. So, now this hydride will be attached to the boron and now this complex will be formed because this is a Lewis acid and now this boron was a Lewis acid now hydride attacks to this boron. Now, it is Lewis base because boron has a negative charge. Now, this imine becomes iminium ion, iminium ion because there is a silyl group now and now this hydride delivery. So, this hydride delivery will take place. to get this uh, amine and this catalyst will be regenerated after that can react to uh, the active catalyst. <laughs> Silicon based radical reactions so like this if you have a thio esters like this C double bond S. So, with this uh, system diphenyl silane PH 3 S and H. So, you get S S I H P H 2. So, this you get the intermediate after that A I B N, A I B N you get R only. So, with A I B N you get this cleavage of this C S bond. 
85 to 100 degree centigrade. You get this ether. Silane reduction of alcohol to alkanes, primary aliphatic alcohols are not reduced with silanes, however, benzylic alcohols are reduced under rather mild conditions to the corresponding toluene derivatives. Like this, benzylic alcohols with diethyl silane, DCM, trifluoroacetic acid, you get the methyl. So, more benzylic, so this is also benzylic alcohol. And then it follows the carbocation um, intermediate. So, you need the acid to generate the carbocation and then the triethyl silane to make the reduction feasible, you get this product. Silane reduction of alkyl halides, acid color reduction of alkyl halides to alkanes requires the formation of a relatively stable carbon neum intermediate that can accept the hydride from the silane. Like this. If you treat with triethyl silane deuterium here, aluminum chloride, you get this deuterium. So, what happens? So, first this carbocation form and then this uh, rearranges to this. This stable, so this is stable carbocation, and now this uh, reduction happens. So, now ET3. SID comes and you get the deuterium here. Also, this long chain alkyl halide can be converted to the alkene with triethyl silane in aluminum chloride catalyst. Silane reduction of aldehydes, the acid catalyst reduction of aldehydes with silanes work best in the presence of water. When an organic acid is employed as a catalyst, ether or alcohol will form. Like here, ET3 SH with trifluoroacetic acid, you get the ether, alcohol, and the oxygen oxygen A form product is formed actually. And now, benzaldehyde when treated with triethyl silane TFA, you get this ether. So, this is the peroxide actually peroxide is formed. And here, ether is formed when triethyl silane water. So, water is added here, then you get the alcohol uh, with H2SO4 as the uh, catalyst. Also, this aldehyde and this alkoxy silane when treated with triethyl silane Me3 SIi as a catalyst in dichlomethyl solvent, you get the ether in 100 percent yield. Aromatic aldehydes are fully reduced to the corresponding toluene derivatives. That is also possible like ET3 SH TFA room temperature 45 minutes, the paramethoxy benzaldehyde can be converted to methyl group here. So, here we have seen this might be lower temperature that you get the ether and here it goes to the toluene derivative. Also, ET3 SH BF3 CH2 Cl2 0 degree centigrade 10 minutes you get the methyl. Silane reduction of ketones, the reduction of ketones or aldehydes in the presence of an acid like these ketones is get going to secondary alcohols also this is aromatic ketones going to alkane. The one for reduction of amides to aldehydes in the presence of diphenyl silane is also possible. This is amide we going to aldehyde with titanium isopropoxide one equivalent. The reduction of acids and ester to alcohols with polyvethyl hydroxy siloxane occurs in good yield in the presence of titanium tetra isopropoxide or tetra butyl ammonium fluoride. Here, this O benzyl ester with this PMHS, this is the PMHS with titanium isopropoxide, you get this O benzyl diol in 89 percent yield. So, this ester group is getting reduced to the alcohol. The imines to amines with trichlorosilane and dichlorosilane. So, this imines with BF3 etherate to activate the imine and you get the reduction with good yield when dichlorosilane is used, then 90 percent yield is possible. So, today we have discussed first the boron and boron we have seen that boron BH3 is not stable. So, it has to be complex for commercial availability like BH3 DMS dimethyl sulphide that is very popular and that has several advantages over BH3 THF. And then we have discussed the chiral boron 
like alpine boron we have seen that it is very good for the reduction of propargyl ketone. So, if a triple bond is there then the ketone can be reduced selectively to high E. And one drawback of this case is that when a tertiary butyl or sterically demanding group is there then high pressure is required like 6000 atmosphere pressure is required. And this problem was solved when methyl boron is used, the enhanced selectivity was high for this triple bond propargylic ketones. And however, with methyl boron the pressure is not required. Then we have discussed isopinoc amphenyl boron and this is very useful for the reduction of different keto acids. So, alpha keto acids, beta keto acids, uh, alpha keto acids we have seen the aliphatic gives less E, but beta keto acids, gamma keto acids and delta keto acids we have seen they give the products. And one drawback of this isophenic amphenyl boron was the aromatic ketone like acetophenone reduction. And that case we have seen that uh, IPC2 BCL when chlorodiisophenic amphenyl boron is used the enhancer selectivity was high. Also different esters except beta keto esters, alpha keto esters can be reduced to high to the product also be, uh, gamma keto ester and delta keto esters can be converted to the uh, product. And this product can be converted to the lactone derivatives also butyl lactone 5 member or 6 member by acid catalyzed cyclization method. And then we have seen the diamide reduction. So, diamide is very uh, useful reduction because the hydride delivery takes place at uh, seen orientation and it is very useful for the reduction of non-polarized double bond. So, C double bond C, O double bond O, N double bond N. Also, alkynes and uh, alines can reduce much faster rate than trans alkynes and trans alkynes can reduce much faster than cis alkynes. Also, we have seen the reduced selective reduction is possible. So, aline case it is the less hindered side and least substituted carbon that getting hydrogenated and also the terminal double bonds are getting reduced uh, when a reduced selectively when an internal double bond is there that double bond is untouched only the terminal double bond is getting reduced to its uh, diimide. And lastly we have seen silanes. So, silane are very useful reducing agent with chiral ligand you can get the enanso selectivity also sometimes defined acid additive or metal additive are used. So, this BC6F5 whole 3 that is quite strong Lewis acid and it can reduce different imines in high yields. Also we have seen the silane can reduce aldehydes to alcohols also it can generate the ether and in cases of paramethoxybenzaldehyde we have seen the aldehyde is getting reduced to the toluene derivatives. Thank you.